All right, boys. Uh, look at this. There's an interesting thing right here. The the weapons crafting arena. It lets you modify your stuff without actually being in the campaign. So I did that, and we're going to continue the campaign. And I'll tell you that uh, I built two weapons, and I basically sold all most of my extra stuff. And I just built two of the most powerful weapons, or at least that I think will be the most powerful weapons that uh, that I currently can. Isaac, you all right? Carver, he's here. He's headed to the machine. Can you reach him? I'm trying to find a way into the city. We'll try to meet up on the way. But the, yeah, so I, I went ahead and I just got the best, the best chips available, the best upgrades that I possibly could, or, or at least the best of what was currently available to me. And I'll, I'll show you them right now. So this is what we got. We've got... The, the, the lightning gun with the stasis coating, I built a damage support, which gives us a little more damage. And look at these circuits. Plus two damage, plus two clip, all the way down the line. We got plus clip and reload, and then we actually capped out on clip, so I did um, reload and rate of fire. So just the best stuff that I possibly have at the moment. Like, there might be even better stuff, but that's just what I've got. So up here, we've got a rocket launcher. I, I think that's going to be a really cool weapon for killing the larger enemies. And once again, I built another stasis coating. I built a safety guard, which reduces the damage I take if I blow myself up. And same thing right here. Uh, plus two damage, plus two clip. And I actually capped my damage out. I can't go higher than that. So then I just built a bunch of clip and reload. And same down here, a bunch of clip and reload and then a reload and fire rate just to make the best stuff that I can. So I, I have a uh, pretty good feeling about this. This is going to be like just maximum firepower, bringing the most powerful weapons I have to bear. I also think this is basically the end of the game, so I'm probably going to do a big push for beating the game. I'm probably going to try to beat the game tonight. I, I might do like maybe three one-hour episodes. Just It's just going to be like a big push. So here we got some lore. Can I... Get the text log, please. There we go. Personal log of Dr. Earl Serrano. The cranium of the species contains six holes, each a passage leading to a resonance chamber not unlike our own nasal cavity. When air is blown through the holes, it passes through a phonic membrane that then vibrates and modulates the sound. By opening and closing the various membranes, notes are produced. This coincides with a written script observed, carved into the surfaces of many of the structures we uncovered. Uh, uh oh, many. Oh, okay, I'm getting confused. The surfaces of many of the structures we uncovered, it isn't so much a written language as a pronunciations key. There appears to be six basic letters or notes in the language. Simple to be sure, but by combining these notes, new meaning is conveyed. Thus, there is a notation indicating how long to hold each note. So I'm getting the impression that humans wouldn't be able to replicate these very effectively. Like they could probably create very different sounds than a human can. Now it is highly unlikely that the species would need a f pronunciation guide for its own language. In fact, it appears to have been added as an afterthought. It's as if they knew they didn't have long to live, and they needed to communicate something very important to whomever discovered their world. In a way, this notation left for us as a way for them to speak to us from beyond the grave. I see, so they were worried that we would find their stuff, because I am... Um, Misshapen moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid-formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half-formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon. It was meant to destroy it. You'll need the codex, 
It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carver, did you hear that? The machine can crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. Okay. So I'm guessing this is a puzzle. Alien translation. Open. Okay, so we got zigzaggy symbols. Um, I guess I gotta match them. That's fine. Uh, that first one looks correct. The second one is like an equal sign with a upside down thing. Yeah, that looks fine. I wish it would just stay on. Open. And then the last one is like a little single bar arrow. There we go. Okay. I hope I don't have to memorize this. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. So it looks like the aliens are on the same wavelength as us, except the aliens also got infested by the necromorph. Done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't, I help get us this far, and that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For I don't know. Just all the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son, wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. We get the two characters sharing a moment. Both of them have changed, haven't they? Isaac originally just wanting to be left alone. Now determined to finish what he started and see some cracks in John Carver's armor. If we had played the co-op story, it would have explained the guilt he felt about his family. But uh, obviously we didn't get to see that. Yep, so this pathway broke. But uh, needless to say now, you could probably tell that uh, the reason why Carver's so intense is that he's got something to prove. Danik, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? 
part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! I mean, like, it's true that we do fear it because we don't understand his intentions, but we could also say the reverse is true. We could also say that he doesn't understand it. Ah, oh, who cares about upgrades at this point? What does this thing do? Oh, this comes off. Uh, I guess I need this. This actually looks important. Uh, let me just leave it here until I find out where it goes. Oh, it... It goes right there. Let's let's get a look at this place. There's the machine that everyone wants to turn off. Uh, so I mentioned that the aliens look like a Charis from the Elder Scrolls 3 Skyrim, and yeah, they do. The the Charis always have those kind of fringed heads with the weird mouthy thing in the center. I don't even need the resources, but it's a habit now to just hit the sweet spots. Okay, so obviously this goes in the door up ahead. Oh, it's a primer. Or an explosive. Okay. Did anyone hear that? So we're in some kind of crazy alien city. All this ominous black stone. Like, oh, look at all the grooves on the stone. Like, why are there grooves on the stone? There's Danik. Come on, this guy's got to be running out of people. Now it's my turn to shoot rockets at you, you bastards. Oh, ho, ho. that's more like it. And because I got the stasis coating... It freezes them when they get hit. Give, give me. I just have to be careful about where I use the rocket. I don't want to blow. I mean, I do have the guard to help reduce the damage, but. Hey, there's another primer. Let's not mess with the primer. Okay, I think that's Carver. Okay, here's the, the location where the charge would go. Come on, give me it. Thank you. Okay. Another one. Does it dispense multiple primers? Hang on! I got a plan! Oh, great. It's never good when Isaac has a plan. Okay, well, these dispense multiple primers, so that's good. So it seems like the scaff also got overridden. They, they basically suffered the. Oh! So was that your plan? Are you crazy? Yes, it's Isaac. He's crazy. Oh, it's like football. <laughs> oh. Full health. You know, it's not even a big deal. This place looks like it's going to be infested with necromorph, including alien necromorph. Well, crazy plan or not, it worked, I guess. Isaac falls from some remarkable heights without taking damage. Anyway, so it seems like...
I don't know what to do about these guys. Here, how about some of that? There you go. Settle down, settle down. I think these guys explode. Yeah, they do. They have that telltale, I'm about to like burst look about them. So here's a necromorphic alien. Yeah, very similar. Is this what the, the Uber guy was in um, in Dead Space 2? Like he has a similar looking face. Interesting. Okay, we're good. I can't pick any of this stuff up. And I'm not injured, so I can't heal either. Man, look, now we got red. So we had green, now we got we got red and green, actually. That's the right way. What is this? The deep dig teams were some of our brightest archaeologists and soldiers. What happened to them down here? It served as a cautionary tale to us all. What drove them to such extreme behavior, to such depravity and violence? I have sequestered their bodies in the staging compound. There I hope to find the answers, not only to their demise, but to the workings of the artifact they discovered in the depths. Well, to no great surprise, more side missions. Well, we've gone this far, we may as well be thorough about it. So what I'm going to do, I'll play for an hour, and regardless of where I am, I'm just going to stop and just create another one-hour session. Like, we're just going to get through this. Don't need those. I, I really don't need much of anything in terms of resources. We're just looking for lore at this point. My suit is fully maxed out. Staging area three. Wait, we need to switch our optional objective on. Here we are at the very edge. That looks like a regenerating bastard. He was shivering, naked when I found him. The self-inflicted wounds carved deep into his skin, the meaning of which I can only speculate. I had to work to pry the artifact from his cold, white hand. A curious object made of an unknown material activated, it seems, by sound. The markings are worse, that I'm sure of, but without a means of translating them, I'm afraid its purpose will remain a mystery. If only there were more time, I could find other examples of the script stored here and unlock it. So I guess that's our motivation, to try to learn more about the alien language. Oh man, we're getting a lot of lore. Okay. Uh, personal log of Dr. Earl Serrano. The Deep Dig survivors refuse to speak whether this is willing or the result of the trauma they obs observed is uncertain. They continue to draw strange symbols on any surface they can find, and when no other surface is available, they use their own skin. Any persistent injuries as to what they were doing, one of their family turned to me and spoke. We witnessed the truth, he said, and so will you. The last bit he screamed as he came at me with a utility knife. Thankfully, I managed to scramble away. It took several soldiers to subdue him before he could be taken to a more se secure holding area. So uh, it seems like what the markers do is inflict madness and cause people to get the kind of necromorph process started by either killing themselves or killing others so that the necromorphs can then... Zero gravity? Someone's in here with me. Okay, I need to go down. Ew, what is that? This thing's huge. Oh, I, I burst it. Do I keep shooting it, I guess? Oh, with my stasis coating. This thing's a joke, I think. I can't tell if it's dead or not, though. It's not dead. Ow! What a jerk! I need to hit it. One last weak point. There, now it should be dead. Let me let it unfreeze. So I can observe whether or not it is indeed dead. Look how long it stays frozen. 
really impressive. Let's try the rocket launcher. Oh, God. How do you like that? You don't like it? Oh, well. Oh, looks like he's still got... Let me give him another one. Just for safe, uh, just for safe measure. Oh, God, I didn't want to pick it up. Ew. Ew, get away. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I'm going over here. All right. Well, I guess I should have a look around first. I'm really liking these. These weapons are actually really fun. Got a text log. I didn't even notice that. First log of Dr. Earl Serrano. When I first saw the city, I was amazed at the statuary. They're everywhere. You look clustered together, integrated into the architecture. It wasn't until I studied them more closely that I understood. They're not statues at all, but the remains of this once great species. Willing or not, they have become integral part of a machine of staggering complexity. They've literally paid for the construction with their very lives. Interesting. I wonder in what way their construct... I wonder in what way do their bodies contribute to the machine's construction? What is the, what was the point of it? What do we got up here? Is this where I came from? Kind of funny how we got a zero gravity area. We haven't had zero gravity since space. So it's kind of like a funny reintroduction to it. So is this where I came from? Yes. Okay. So now I know we are on the top floor. So let's check each floor down. Nothing here. Move a floor down. This appears to be the correct way, I believe. Oh, another floor down, very well. Okay, that's the final floor, so what's down over here? We probably shouldn't touch those. Those could function like those unstable gravity panels. A stasis coating. I can just build more of those, to be completely honest. I, I've got a decent amount of tungsten now. So this is the Ordnance Tower or something? Okay, he's just scenery. Climb the carrier ladder to the stars. Okay, another one of these rooms. Guessing more of the same then? In that case, let me get my... Oh. Okay, we've got a bunch of, like, laser trip wires. Do I really need to destroy these? I feel like they're too spaced out to really matter. Okay, it's clear. Time to read the text log. Text log says... Uh, log of Dr. Earl Serrano. Some of the artifacts we brought up for examination were covered in what I can only describe as fossilized carbuncles. We thought they were inert, having been dead for potentially millions of years, but when they were in anti-gravity transit, some of the growths broke off when crews went back to retrieve them, they discovered several large pods affixed to the walls, presumably incubating something within. That must be the thing that we destroyed. When approached, they cracked open, and what spilled out was horrifying. We lost several of our crew that day. The creatures have since been shut up in transit shaft until we can exterminate or examine them. The other shaft has been fitted with tripwire devices to any other that may have escaped during our... Okay, so... That is indeed what we saw. Some kind of, like, weird spawning cocoon that emits those projectile. Learning a lot in this area. Yeah, 
Alien translation. Warrior. Warrior. Well, that looks easy enough to remember. This has got to be a battle area. Yep. It's a Mr. Wiggler. Easily dealt with with these upgrades. Got a little bit more. Zap them. Who else wants some? Be the rocket launcher. Anyone else? Three or four Mr. Wigglers? It's not the. M oh, God! Ugh. Shouldn't have turned my eyes on him. He's much more agile than he appears. <laughs> Not sure how good the rockets are against them. Seems like the lightning burst is better. The rocket might be better off by bombing the human enemies. We'll continue trying it, though. We'll see. Okay, back to number one. Yeah, two shots from the lightning gun deals with them. That's really good. What is that? Is that the noise of the little guys? Oh my god, I was like, whoa, his body's come back to life! But you can't do that, that's against the rules. Did it zap that guy even though he was so far away? Oh my god, my weapons are so good now. Get out of here, these weapons are so good. I think these are actually the replacements for the little, like, super babies. Remember from, like, the, um, the children's nursery and whatnot in Dead Space 2? I think that these are basically a, a new version of them. A f much faster. Much, much faster. Okay, room looks clear. Let's start reading. Oh, I thought that'd be a text log. Alien translation? Final. Final? Up, down, up. So we got warrior, we got final. So we're definitely learning some alien words. I don't know how useful that is, though, I must say. Something ricocheted over here. I saw the lightning bolt move, giving me a hint to where they are. Got him. The rocket launcher could be good here, actually. 
I don't see him. There he is. I just gotta shoot near him. Where are you? Got him? There he is. That's really nice. I can just kind of quick draw on him. Just shoot in the basic direction. What happens if I throw his body on that? Maybe those aren't as dangerous as I anticipated, but I'm still going to avoid touching them, I believe. Kind of nice that they introduced a brand new enemy type, that weird, like, giant blob thing. So they're still not done with new enemies. Like, that's always good. I, I hate it when a game runs out of new enemies, but the game is continuing on. There we go. I, I always feel like a game should end when it runs out of new mechanics. All right, time to hack this thing. Okay. First set. Second set. Third set. Fourth set. And bingo. Just got to keep them from getting tangled up. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Okay. Normal gravity, sure. Why not? Got a bench in here. I got a circuit. Okay, I guess this area is safe. I guess we could just collect that chip real quick. I mean, it's literally right next to it. Maybe it's a new quality of chip I haven't found yet. See, I almost got a thousand tungsten. Um, let's drop. Let, let's keep one row for open for items. Two damage, two clip. Yeah, yeah. So these, are, this is the same quality of the um, of the clips that I'm currently using. So they're perfectly fine. That also is reassuring because it's telling me that like, I've got like really high quality upgrades plugged into my guns. That's a regenerator. Who wants to bet that those guys are going to free themselves at some point? Sacrifice. Down, double down, double up. Sacrifice. Oh yeah. I think it's safe to bet that, um... Okay, here's what I think is gonna happen. When I open that thing up, these guys are all gonna get, like, unleashed or something. So what if I just don't do it? How about that? I don't, I don't need any upgrades. I don't need any items. I've already got everything upgraded. So how about that? Oh, no! He cheated! He cheated! What am I... At? Oh, God, to Mr. Wiggler. And am I gonna just... There we go. Where do I go? Down here, I'm assuming. Uh, where do I go? Mr. Wiggler is in here with me. Not sure where... Oh, it's him. Okay, so I don't go down here, actually. That was a lie. How did you resist my attack, Mr. Wiggler? Uh, I guess I gotta hack this. Uh, he's gonna ambush me. Someone's gonna ambush me. Okay, you just need to die. I have no idea if I'm even affecting this guy. 
Why are there so many of them? Why don't you just leave me alone? Why don't all of you just leave me alone? Uh, right there, that's one. Two. Three. You know what, fine. I'm gonna go get my treasure then, you bunch of jerks. They're like, oh, oh we're, we're just gonna come in. Oh, God! He recovered very quickly. I mean, not, none of you have the firepower to actually, like, seriously damage me. What if I just release even more of them? There. I'm taking everything and I'm leaving. Is he in front of me? Is he right here? There, I'll freeze them. That's so cool. It's like an easier way to uh, free the guys. Freeze the guys. Oh, what are you going to do now? You guys aren't good in the... Who's grunting? Just when you thought you got rid of those stupid regenerating guys. I thought they were done. Apparently I thought wrong. I bet, I bet they're gonna show up to try to spook me again at the very end. They're gonna be like, oh! We have to make up for lost time. Fortunately, I've got this awesome weapon that freezes them. Oh, great, there's four of them still. Kind of wonder how this weapon works on them. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Bunch of jerks. Goodbye, all of you. Well, I can't say I'll miss you either. Y'all get to stay down there and just stay down there forever. So what did I wind up getting? Uh, I got some circuits and some resources. Not stuff that I... probably not stuff I need, but... Okay, no more optional missions. Time to move on. If we were supposed to learn some additional words from that, I did not memorize any of that. Um, I think it was double up. No, it's double, double down and one up. Oh, this one is, oh, this one is two, uh, there we go. Open. Yeah, those doors open strangely. Oh, look at this, a little bit, a little bit of the darkness coming back. This, uh, not State of Decay, to Dead Space. I heard something. Okay, that might actually just be that. I see those gravity panels, which means I'm guessing this is going to become a zero gravity area. This must be what turns the gravity on. Once again, I don't want to touch those. Not sure if they're dangerous. Let me guess. Evil doggies. I got just the thing for you. He lived. Impressive stamina. Okay, that's just his body tumbling away. Okay, I cannot land on that. I cannot see a target. If one is nearby, I do not see it. Yep, where is he? Is he behind me? Where is he? Is he in the next room? Bet you won't take a shot at me. The... 
The headset I'm wearing makes it sound like he's behind me. Okay, I think he's just in the next room. I'm just going to have to move forward until he shoots at me, and then I'll see him. It is really dilapidated in here. I am having trouble figuring out which way to go. Oh, thank God I can land here. Reorient myself. Which way do I go? This way? Sure, why not? Where is he? Oh. Well, let me not blow myself up. There you go. That'll shut you up. Making all this racket. I'm guessing this is our hint. So, uh, two up. Um, what was the next one? Uh, two bars and one down. Two bars and one down and then one up. Don't know what any of this stuff means, but why not? Progress saved. Nice. Okay, let's move. So these are not statues. These are them. I mean, did they do they really get that big? What is this thing? Carver, these dish shaped areas on the floor, they supercharge our TK capacity, but hurt like hell. What about stasis? What about it? You think it's enhanced too? Try it, let me know. Okay, so they amplify the strength of my Kinesis module. Oh, damn, I'm like Superman. Oh, jeez. Do I lose health? No, okay, it's just discomfort. I was wondering if it hurt me or not. Like they're looking at me, I don't like that. Can't pick anything up. Not that I need anything, though. Okay, we got... You know what? I could probably just zap them. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and it just chains right through them. Okay, let's get this generator on. Ah, I see. This is like another upgrade and bench area. Activate uh, alien condo. Oh, that's just the next objective. Compact standard frame. That thing's garbage. Hey, where do we go? Up here? But what's over here? This area looks more interesting to me. Ah, it's closer towards the machine. This is obviously something of significance. And this also looks like a dead end. Okay, I guess that's why we gotta go up this elevator. I wonder what their bodies are used for in order to... ...build this place. Maybe it'll get- oh, wait, wait, we, we can dump our stuff off. Yeah, I'm not getting any upgrades better than what I currently have, so I'm not, I'm not feeling bad about missing stuff. Hey, that's all fine. Let's just leave this as it is. Those have got to be ways for a necromorph to enter. It's interesting seeing the human architecture clash with the alien architecture, like the metal human scaffolding and whatnot, versus like the smooth or ribbed 
alien stone architecture. What is this? Sculptures. Weird looking sculptures. Once again, something that the necromorph have to be able to come out of. Incredible, isn't it? I call this the promenade, one of the many conduits straight to the heart of the machine. Without the codex, I can only speculate, but I suspect the machine needs to be opened for any changes to be made. I believe the monoliths on this plateau do just that. By standing on the special disc-shaped area on the floor, I've discovered I can use my kinesis module in a boosted capacity to manipulate them. The two hieroglyphics on the wall behind me indicate that one configuration will open the machine. Another will enact any changes to the internal programming. Once you get it open and have followed all of my research, you will need to return here to enact the final stage. I see, so obviously Serana realized he would not be able to complete his research. So... I guess I need to copy these, so he left these here as step-by-step -step processes. Which one do we want to try first? Let's try this crisscrossed one first. Who knows what it does? It could be a terrible idea. It's so weird how they bend around like that. No, no, they're not that- they're not bent that far. They're like- more like this. Yeah, okay, so in the middle... That looks fine. And then... The, these two are kind of like bent inwards towards each other. Yeah, 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 the other one is going to crisscross in when I fully bend it, I think. Uh, or maybe not quite. Um, let's try... Okay, what's the bottom one look like? Okay, so I can't do them in between. Okay, hold on a second. Let me look at this thing again. Maybe we can't do this one? It feels like the ones in the middle just don't do that at all. Let's see if I can get the outer ones to resemble... Okay, so the outer ones, that clearly resembles the one on the outside. Oh, I did something on accident. Oh. Oh. I accidentally created that one, I guess. Uh, what does this one do? I just did to open a command to another hard state city. There's a control cell there at the hotel disk. That's where we're building. Meet me there. I guess this is the correct one. I don't know what the other one does. I mean, there there was dialogue, so it makes it seem like that's the right thing to do. Oh, that thing's active. So I guess we could go on Maybe that's like a transporter? Interesting. This place is really weird. 
Like, I only have vague... I, I remember this alien city, but... Got his buddy as well. And they're just bringing him out. Two shots seems to be sufficient for him. Very efficient. Since these guys seem to be the replacement for the uh, Necromorph Brutes. stash this stuff real fast. <laughs> I'm still collecting things even though we don't need to. Like, we're, we're clearly... We're clearly doing fine in terms of equipment. That's fine. Alright, moving on. This weapon is super strong. Very ominous. Got all these... What does this do? What? Oh, I see. It's a flying section. Oh, it's like it's like it's like it's kinesising me or something. Oh, this is efficient. That was pretty cool. Do I need to land here? Oh, and then it catches me. And I bet your stomach is feeling really weird after that. So we must be right underneath that giant tower of the machine. So this one was fine. This one is... Those are some weird... Oh, oh, oh some weird noises. Yeah, I guess we're just deeper in the city now. Some necromorph must be, or I can hear some kind of organic footsteps or something squishy. Oh. Is he behind me? Let's check the perimeter before we go in the middle. It's blocked. We have officially checked the perimeter. An artifact. Hopefully I don't get ambushed while reading this. Um, Corporal Elizabeth Atwood. We noticed their haunting, graceful forms almost immediately as we descended into the city. Some were 20 stories tall. Others were no more than four meters in height. After a grueling hour-long hike, we made camp at the feet of one of the statues. Keep from freezing, we deployed a portable heating unit and huddled around it until we managed to fall asleep. I was jolted awake by a shrill flute-like noise. The statue was gone, and so were half of my crew. As I fumbled for my gear, I saw it, gaunt and gray, its bone-crested head staring in my direction. This couldn't be one of the noble beings that constructed the city, could it? It appeared stunted and corrupt, a frightening and twisted version of the species. With the fate of my crew uncertain, I did the only thing I could do. I ran. Must be one of the necromorphized aliens. Oh, it's... It's these guys. Have a rocket. <laughs> Was that your reinforcements? I seem to have, uh... Oh, I missed. I seem to have the cure for your misbegotten kind. Uh, 
I believe that's the end of him. Okay, time to begin examining the center area. Weird, like, almost Christian-like crucifix type of... I'll take a look at it again once I make sure this area is clear. Hey, Carver! I'll bet this supercharging effect might let us TK the limbs right off Decker while they're still moving! That's great! Thanks for the tip! Ah! Not dead, were you? Let's continue securing the area. Yeah, someone else is here. Doing the necromorph dance, I see. I wonder how they came up with the Necromorph dance. Like, when the Necromorph are traveling to you without running, they tend to do this weird, like, arm flailing maneuver that I call the Necromorph dance. Like, someone had to mocap that. Alright, I believe the area is now clear. Plus two reload, plus two damage. Yeah, look at this thing. It's like he's on a... Can I do something about him? I don't think there's anything I can grab. Yeah, you can see how much stronger it looks. Uh, let's try from the opposite. Maybe they wanted me to use it to defeat the Necromorphs more efficiently. What if you could grab a whole Necromorph and just, like, throw him at, like... Supersonic speeds or something. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what these things were for. Alright, so 57 minutes in, I'm just going to end this episode here and then just pick right back up. At any rate, Making pretty good progress. Really happy with this weapon, but yeah, we are gonna finish, I'm gonna finish this game tonight. I, I am going to beat it. I don't know if it's gonna take another episode, maybe two more episodes, but I'm gonna do basically an hour episode each to finish it, because like, once I get to the end of the game, it's like, I just feel like I gotta lock it out. Like, I don't, I don't wanna be patient anymore. At any rate, like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for the conclusion of the Dead Space 3 trilogy. And of course, remember, that you don't have to be good to get good.